Hello everybody, Mario here. And here is the progress so far on Isabella the Canoness. You... We have the arms glued on, pinned and glued on. We have a backpack held in with green stuff. The joints between the fine cast and the metal have been green stuffed. And we have green stuffed up a skirt to kind of cover the, well, the panties, or the battle panties as I've referred to them before, of the model. In the, the propaganda picture, you can see in there they have some flesh tone just above the armor. And then you see some frilliness. Because as we all know, in fantasy armor, the less a, a woman wears, the stronger the, arm, the, stronger the armor seems to be. <laughs> so, oddly enough, my glue must have had a hit its shelf life, and these arms had to be glued on, like, twice. Once because I thought it was just a bad gluing, and the second time because I realized it was probably my glue itself. But, in that, I was able to uh, shorten the arms. When I first cut them, I just cut them at slightly above the elbow. And when I cut the uh, fine stuff arms, I cut them slightly below the elbow. So when they actually came together, she had arms that could probably touch her knees while standing up. Which is about, about a hand longer than they should have been, proportionally. I think they're now still a touch long proportionately, but it's not as grotesque anymore. Now you actually have to get up close to the model to realize it. But other than that, first time green stuffing, I think I've done quite well. It's a medium unto itself, I will have to admit. It, I have worked with clay before, um, so I have a bit of a understanding what to do once you get to the green part of the green stuff but um kind of working it up getting it going into shapes that I can use realizing that what I thought was a small amount was really much larger than I needed once I really got it go flattened out and going so I hope that this works I hope that my green stuff skills have have benefited me and no oh, and I guess we'll see you in the next one till then goodbye